Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be looking at a couple games that use DLSS 3 frame generation in 4K, ultra settings, ray tracing enabled and see what we're going to get. Now, I know that there's quite a few con controversy uh, articles out there, not to say conspiracy that, uh, you know, 47 TTI cannot do this or is not as good as and, and so on and so forth, but... All things aside, let's uh, look at this from an actual gaming perspective, right? If you want to play a game with the ultimate eye candy and you are okay to compromise not having 60 frames, you can run any game, okay? Let's be clear. As long as it runs on 30 frames as on a console, you should be absolutely fine. We're going to look at this settings the way most people play them on, cranking something up, and seeing how it sticks. So, number one is a cyberpunk. We're gonna go with the uh, high preset. Now, it shows custom because I disabled some things. First and foremost, we're gonna enable DLSS frame generation. We are disabling dynamic resolution scaling. I am turning off film gray, chromatic aberration, and depth of field. I do not like these things in game, so I'm turning it off. I'm le leaving on the lens flare because it does look good. Motion blur is turned off. What we do have enabled is contact shadows, improved facial lightning geometry, everything else is on high or ultra as far as we can crank it up, ray tracing is enabled, ray trace reflections is enabled, sun shadows on, ray trace local shadows are on, ray trace lightning is on psycho level, so this is the highest level you can set it in this game. We're not going to be even touching path tracing because even 4090 can't actually do it, obviously it's pretty much in technical preview or a beta or even alpha stage and path tracing in photo mode is also not gonna be used so let's run the benchmark MSI upper well almost said upper right or left but it's actually left bottom left even more left because some games will have some weird things on the upper left and you know MSI is kind of interfering so I had to put it there so with all these settings and um, we are running at 4k no vertical sync, no no frame cap, so to say. So let's run the benchmark and see how much we're going to be getting in this game that's been around for years, had a terrible launch, went through multiple patching stages, and it's finally here. Also, 447 TTI, we're running the latest NVIDIA driver that is actually made for Gollum. So we'll see if that actually gives us any kind of uh, improvement here. So straight off the bat we're in a bar scene, which is one of the most demanding due to the fog and different lighting sources. And we're pulling 11, well almost 12 gigs of video memory, 10 gigs of RAM and we are within 73, 70 ish frames. Which is still above 60, okay? That's the whole point here. So let's see if we actually fall behind. Okay, so here we are going outside. Let's see those reflections in the puddle. There we go, look at this. No, granted, with the frame generation you will see a little bit of weird artifacting when the in-between frame is being pulled out of nowhere. Usually this can be seen on the shadows. So if you look very closely on these shadows now, you might see that they kind of flicker a little bit. You see this? So, to be fair, you will not notice this little tiny flicker unless you stay stand and look at that shadow but apart from that look at the performance not even close to 60 frames and gpu is being used at what 96 percent so what do we get is average fps at 77 minimum frames is 60. do i need to say more that is 4k ray tracing on psycho level come on come on guys you have to admit that some things do actually look good so, uh, let's give a very quick gameplay preview and we're going to be moving on to the next title. And the reason I'm showing you the actual gameplay preview is it's very easy to run a synthetic benchmark and I talked about this a lot of times in a lot of videos. Synthetic benchmark will be giving you juicy numbers if you run it multiple times. So, the best thing you can do is actually start a new game or just continue in-game and see how it goes. Now, obviously... With the new drivers and, you know, this game being optimized so well, I'm not surprised. Also, it is running off from NVMe drive. So, what do we see here? I don't even know where I am, but hey, does it matter? 
and we have GPU usage 98% synaptic acceleration meet Hanako timbers oh wow we are pretty pretty deep in I think this might be one of those last missions I don't know I actually haven't really played this for a while um, I think we need a vehicle so let's go for a bike our bike is right there. So let's see how driving through the city actually treats us. Uh, nice to see all these little tiny glitches are still here. Okay. Uh, look at these. Look at these reflections here. This is the psycho level you're gonna be getting. Now I know that people usually say, "Oh, but you know, you, it's diminished quality." Are you really think so? For 4K native 80 frames while driving a bike through the city? Come on guys. Come on. As much as you like to hate on a game or you want to hate the 4070 Ti, it, it, it's rather hard to do so. You know, and this is exactly the same thing that happened with the 3070 Ti. It came out, even certain huge uh, YouTube channels made videos saying do not buy this card, it's not worth it, it performs terribly, it's overpriced, there's not enough this, there's not enough that. And you saw what kind of games we were able to play and benchmark with that particular GPU. And I think I just uh, finally got myself into water. <laughs> um, I'll be honest with you guys, I actually haven't been in water in this game at all, like full stop. Um, but yeah, um, hmm. This was not part of the... This was not part of the plan. I really hope that is a ladder there. At least as you can see, within water we're getting more frames than outside of the water, so... Usually it's the opposite way around, which is uh, kind of refreshing, but... The whole emphasis is... 47 TTI, i5-96K on stock. And this is where we are. The only problem is the bike has gone for a swim as well. But look at these details, guys. Come on. Even even the bike is reflecting stuff. Look at that wet tire. You can clearly see the exhaust fumes are just kind of going over. I mean, this this is just how it is. You know, end of the day. I don't know. I think this is absolutely playable. I think this is more than playable. This is this is actually good. Look, I, di I didn't even know the bike has reflections on its fuel tank. Now we can see that. We can see this with above 60 frames. So now within the city what we're getting close to 60-ish fast moving come on. Even the crash didn't drop our frames. This is like completely different game now. Well. Oh well. Oh, looks like I have... Invisibility and my previous playthrough weapons. I don't know guys, I think this is absolutely fine. Stay calm. What's your murderous bitch ass waiting for, huh? 
Looks like I'm a little bit out of bullets here. But that's fine. We dealt with the problem. Or the issue of the police. At least uh, temporarily. Anyway, let's go and take a look at the next title. And obviously the next game is Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt with Enhanced Patch. Which enables us to have DLSS frame generation and RTX, uh, well, everything RTX basically. So let's have a quick look, just to make sure we are on the same page. So full screen, 4K, DLSS frame generation is enabled. When it comes to the vertical sync as you see here, I do believe it applies to the menu only, because within the game the frames are unlocked. So going for the graphics... Ray tracing is enabled, ray traced is on quality, the highest setting. Flexion, shadows, everything is good. Anti-aliasing is using DLSS. DLSS quality is on auto, so, you know, just as it is. Uh, HBO enabled, screen space reflections on high, motion blur disabled, everything else as it is. You could technically enable NVIDIA Hairworks, but ever since it actually came out, I mean the game, Enabling these drops frames for no apparent reason, so I'm keeping it off uh, Everything else ultra plus so I think it's pretty fair. So let's go in and see How does the DLSS frame generation is treating us? Yeah, yeah, yeah the sorceress, okay. Yeah, I get it. Let's let, let, let's get into the actual game here and straight off the bat we are seeing Geralt in glorious 60 plus frames. GPU usage 98%, we're pulling 10 gigs of video memory and 12 of actual RAM. And uh, I'm kind of struggling to find any kind of reflections. Well, oh, there we are, there we are. Yes, we have reflections, look at this. So yeah, well, I think we would need to actually call the horse. Where is he? Hi, Roach. Get up. Let's take for a quick stroll here. And we need to find out what's killing villagers. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that eventually, maybe, perhaps. So, going through the swamp with the reflections. 70-ish frames and stuff. Well, I would honestly say this is an overkill. Like, you, you don't need this level of graphical fidelity. There's there's very little reason for that. Oh, we have combat here. Okay, let's do this. Come here. I'm not afraid to die, my witcher. We did it. Roach. So as you can see, DLSS frame generation That's does it. help help you out. And with RTX everything enabled, I mean come on. For a card like 4070 Ti, I honestly think it's it's more than fair. It is more than fair. The GPU is pulling its weight. Also, we are recording in 4K, so we are losing about... Okay, we're not losing much. We're losing about 2 to 3 frames. But, you know, it's, it's always it's always there in the, in the back of my mind. So, yeah. I would say, obviously, I would not really crank everything up RTX-wise uh, to play Enhanced Edition, but... Hell. If you can and you get these frames, why not? I do believe in larger battles you might actually see a drop below 60 at times. But uh, maybe you won't. No idea. Take you know, it's just one of those things, really. Yeah, wait. We can actually take revenge on these guys. Uh, 
every time. Can I at least kill one of them, please? Oh, it looks like there's, there's like a boss here. And Geralt goes to sleep. Well, you know, this is basically my Witcher experience since I never really played the game. But hey, you saw how it is. So let's go for the next title. And for the last treat, uh, Far Cry 6. I know that there's been a little bit of controversy about this game. Some sources say that the game does support DLSS 3, but in reality it does not. It does, it does have FSR support, but... Well, you know, we're looking at DLSS 3 here. Anyway, what we're gonna be doing is still maxing this game out. So, we're going with 4K native, full screen. And quality-wise, we're cranking everything up. I actually took the time to wait for HD textures to actually download for us. So, you know, we're gonna be getting something extra crisp. Motion blur is off. And DXR reflections are on, as you can see. So... I'm not sure if this is the same as RTX. I think we're gonna be we're gonna see it, I guess. Uh, fidelity cast is off and variable shading is off as well. So let's start this with a benchmark first, and we'll jump in into the game itself just for a quick look around and see how it all looks and feels really. And honestly, I don't expect too many issues with it. So we're starting strong with 100-ish frames. And let's just see how it goes. Now, granted, I honestly don't see too much of a difference here in regards Full HD or 4K, uh, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, here's the thing about Far Cry. I mean, probably I'm in a category where I'm not the biggest Far Cry fan to begin with. Also, as you can see, the GPU usage is surprisingly small. It's 77%. We're pulling 10 gigs of video memory and 14 of actual RAM and we're about 80-ish. And probably this is one of my gripes with Ubisoft titles when it comes to this. Because something just doesn't click there, you know, like... Granted, this is a newest, newer title and, you know, it supposedly runs better than Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey that we tested in a big side-by-side uh, -side 3070 and 4070, but it's still, you know, it just doesn't feel right. So average frames we're getting 79, the minimum frames is 65, with a maximum of 104. And, uh, yeah, well, full screen, ultra, I don't know, it's, it seems pretty solid. So let's continue the game, see how it looks, uh, see how it feels. And maybe we're gonna be getting better frames. Who knows? Because you know me, guys. Synthetic benchmarks. Don't ever trust them. Also, don't trust paid reviews. Those two things you should avoid. And we are here. Actually, we should be getting away from here. So, there we are. Okay. Find the number one Rambo's fan secret base, which is... Oh, a lot. Very far away. Anyway, before we do that, let's uh, blow some stuff up. That looks like a blowable tree. Well, it caught fire, so that's good. Explosions are not really... Ah, no, they do take away the frames a little tiny bit. Um, I think we need to actually fly over there, so let's take this tiny little thing and just fly over we're gonna jump out anyway so hey some in-flight music as well And we don't have a wingsuit. So that is not good news. And anyway, doesn't matter, we cannot have some fun here. Let's see if we can uh, get that tower from here. Not 
entirely sure where the arrows are going. Oh wow, we didn't actually render it all yet. Ah, uh, the frames are 97. Great success, I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, there's something we can destroy. Almost. Nearly, yes, we did it. And we're trespassing somewhere. Oh, a fumigator. I don't know where the roads are going. If you would actually ask me, I would not have an answer for you. Um, let's see if we can get these guys in one shot. We could. Out of ammo. So, 70-ish frames with all of these things. This dude is out of account. Only level 3. Well, that's terrible. But hey ho, you know, it's more about seeing how it all goes. So, what about this tower? Oh, now it takes damage. Look. It even has a little bit of fire in him. Excuse me. Okay. Watch. Yeah, I don't know. Enter as passenger. Okay. Here comes the reflections, finally! Oh, I forgot, everyone is an enemy when you drive in Far Cry 6. My bad. I mean, almost everyone. He was not nice, was he? Go down, okay, let's help him. I'm so confused why this chopper is just refusing to go down actually, but hey. Oh. <laughs> I maybe need to play this a little bit more because actually just remember we have a supremo to use 
It shows an unassigned key. Well, that probably explains it a bit. Where? Where is it? Where is it? Keyboard and mouse, come on. Look up, look down. Aim, peek, blind, yeah, gadget, supremo. Nothing! What? It's a V. Oh, there you go. You see this? See what happens when the game does things like this? Oh yeah, get here. If you got the money, I got the goods. Best prices guaranteed. Don't forget about me now. I would never, Lola. I'll stop by when I get a chance. Are you serious? Oh. <laughs> hey! No, there's a horse. Wait! There you go. So anyway, I think this is actually a pretty good place to end it because uh, we kind of figured out the performance. The performance is fine. GPU usage is not, in my honest opinion, but for Ubisoft title, what do you expect, really? Yeah, typical Far Cry scenario. Anyway, I think you guys seen enough. I said. I, I have no. I have no words. I think I might have. Got myself into a little bit of a firefight here, but it's a good thing because you can see the frames while the actual action is going on, right? If only I would uh, stop missing my shots, really. And we could not repair it. Right, anyway, that's it. I'm out of ammo and the only thing left to do is... Blow up the sign and... Or try next time. That's all I have for you guys. I do appreciate you for giving a watch and maybe this will actually make you... Or help you make a decision. In regards 4070 Ti and what you can expect from this card. Thanks for watching, stay frosty, and I'll see you next time. Over now.